Hey everybody, welcome to Movie Times in Theaters this week. What's in theaters this week? Let me tell you all about it, guys. First off is The Loft. The Loft is a movie about infidelity and all the horrors that come with it. This is a warning sign to all of you guys out there, all you cheaters. Don't cheat. In this movie, when you cheat, people get killed in your places of residence. So, with that being said, you guys live a normal, good, loving life. Monogamous, don't ever stray. You don't want nobody to die in your bed. This movie looks interesting, it definitely does. But overall, with the trailer uh, for this film, when I was watching the trailer, I didn't like the trailer. It gave me, it gave away a lot of, I felt what the movie was gonna be about. Um, it, it seems like they're giving us that this blonde woman is the perpetrator of these killings, or at least knows of what's going on. And also, it, it kind of shows people dying at certain specific times where there's a certain environment and if you see that environment in the movie, I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, well, that guy's gonna die now. So, um, I am looking forward to this film in the sense that it, it does look a little risque, and that really does entice me. So, I'm looking forward to this one. Not gonna see it in the theaters this week, but I will wait and rent it when it comes out on Redbox. Second movie coming out in theaters this week to come my attention is a Kevin Costner movie called Black or White. This one looks very heartwarming. Uh, great contrast to the last uh, movie I just spoke about and I'm, I'm really interested in this one uh, for some reason lately I've been really pulled towards these these movies that are just tugging at your heartstrings and I just I want to have that good feeling inside and seeing a family reunited and staying together and people coming together and that's what I think this movie is going to be about and no matter what happens no matter what they show in the trailer I think at the end of this film you're going to have a lot of people coming together and, based on just love for each other and love for the same person no matter what it is. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Again with this one I'm probably going to skip this one in theater and we'll rent it on Redbox when it comes out. Next up is a film that I think probably should be uh, direct to DVD and uh, download uh, on demand type of video because the leading actor in it is the king of that, Jason Statham. This one is called Wild Card here stateside, but it's also called The Joker Overseas. It looks pretty interesting, but like I said, it does, you know, remind me of a direct to DVD or video on demand type of movie, type of film, low budget, but it does have some good actors in there. One of my favorite actors is in this film, Stanley Tucci. He's wonderful in everything he does. I really love the stuff he does and he's great. So at the same time, it looks like that. I do kind of have some hopes for this film. So I am not gonna be seeing this one in the theater. I'm gonna be waiting till it comes out on, you know, Netflix, Redbox. Uh, again, three for three already so far cut waiting for red box and last up this week in theaters is project almanac this one catches my attention and looks pretty interesting it reminds me of chronicle in the sense that it is a found footage film it looks like it's a handy cam being there the whole time whether or not that handy cam is being held by one of the kids which i think it is because in the trailer they start off with the camera and i think that's their excuse to do it it looks pretty awesome it looks like that camera is going to be there with them documenting things but it also it, i hope it doesn't get in the way that's what happens a lot of times with these these found footage films. It's like that camera's shaking, that camera's getting in the way of making a good movie. So I have my fingers crossed for this one, but I am hopeful that this is going to be a good quality film because it just seems really interesting. I love this idea of time travel and how this ripple effect, and they're throwing out ideas of there of what happens when you do something like this, when you go back in time and you get caught up by yourself and realize what's happening like kind of like butterfly effect when you, he rewrote his memory and it made him you know bleed from the nose essentially giving him a tumor in his brain or whatever it kind of is throwing those ideas out there and I like that it's very good imagination I like it I'm interested in it I definitely want to see this one this weekend all right guys that's it for movie times what's in theaters this week let me know if you're gonna be seeing any films that I mentioned in theaters this weekend or something completely different Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section. Let's have a great conversation this week. We'll see you next time.